Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.8.4.2. Differences in DNA between individuals of the same species can be exploited for identification and diagnosis of heritable conditions from the AQA A level biology specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification. We should know about the use of labeled DNA probes and DNA hybridization to locate specific alleles of genes. We should also know about the use of labeled DNA probes that can be used to screen patients for heritable conditions, drug responses or health risks. Finally, we will cover the use of this information in genetic counselling and personalised medicine. So let's make a start. A DNA probe is a short, single-stranded sequence of DNA whose bases are complementary to a specific DNA sequence. Therefore, if the DNA sequence is present, the DNA probe will bind to it by complementary base pairing. So why do we use gene probes? There are a few uses. They can be used to screen patients for heritable conditions because you can test for the presence of the mutated allele. You can also use them to investigate drug responses. Different people respond to the same drug in different ways. Doctors can hereby prescribe the most effective drug for a particular treatment. Finally, gene probes can also be used to check for health risks. Having certain alleles may increase the risk of developing certain diseases or cancers. Identification allows individuals to take medication and or make certain lifestyle changes to lower the risk. Note that a genetic counsellor can also give advice. So, how do gene probes work? To produce a gene probe in the first place, you sequence the allele, produce the probe using a gene machine, and then use PCR to produce many probes. First of all, the probe is labelled with a fluorescent dye, which can be identified by observing the sample under UV light, or you could label the probe with a radioactive isotope, such as heavy 15N nitrogen and so the probe can be detected. The DNA sample is bound to the bottom of the well. Note that you could use a DNA microarray, which is a plate with many little wells for samples, and then you could observe the samples under UV light. Then we incubate the sample with a labelled probe to achieve hybridization. If the sequence complementary to that of the DNA probe is present, i.e. if the mutated allele is present, the probe will bind to it. The well is then rinsed to wash away any unbound probes. If the target allele is present, the probe will show up. Great, that would be this part of the specification covered. We've covered the use of labeled DNA probes and DNA hybridization to locate specific alleles of genes, as well as the use of labeled DNA probes that can be used to screen patients for heritable conditions, drug responses, or health risks. Finally, we have covered the use of this information in genetic counseling and personalized medicine. That would be it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment. Next time, we will be covering genetic fingerprinting.